It's much more difficult to make nuclear weapons from thorium. It's not impossible, but it's more difficult. I'm sure, you know, all of us want to tackle climate change. Um, I think we have to embrace all solutions, even things that we might not like. Uh, and by that I do, I, you know, I mean things like nuclear energy, um, companies like Rolls-Royce, in fact, companies around the world now are planning the, a new generation of, of nuclear, which, um, which are based on much smaller reactors, but more of them. Um, and the other one, which is, which is also, I would say, controversial, is that we probably will need to continue burning fossil fuels, but we have to find ways of um, capturing the carbon at source and either using it in some efficient way as an alternative to fossil carbon or, you know, or burying it underground. Um, and I think the oil companies have a, a great um, uh, responsibility, I think, to, to put R&D into carbon capture um, for the future. Um, one of my own, uh, you know, uh, um, areas which I personally would like to see developed a lot is nuclear power based on thorium. Thorium is an element which is actually more plentiful than uranium. Um, and back in the 1940s, it was already discovered that it could form the basis of a, uh, of, of a nuclear, uh, nuclear power, nuclear energy. Um, it's much more difficult to make nuclear weapons from thorium. It's not impossible, but it's more difficult. And that actually is a reason why thorium wasn't pursued very much in the 1940s, because um, the reactors that we built and, and, and others around the world, the Americans and so on, uh, in the 1950s, um, uh, the uranium, the, ura the uranium 238 was used to um, uh, create um, plutonium, which could, which does form a, can form a bomb very easily. So thorium, I think, is a very exciting um, new approach to nuclear power. China is putting um, quite some resources actually into developing thorium-powered nuclear reactors. They build, they've already built a prototype. One of the advantages of, of thorium, the type of technology behind thorium, is they don't need water. So you don't need to put the reactor you know, near a coast, near a river or a coastline. And this um, prototype is actually in the Gobi Desert. And that was an article I saw recently on China unveiling plans for nuclear thorium-powered um, containment vessels. And Indonesia has already uh, ordered a thorium reactor from a US uh, company, which I think may be operational in a few years. Um, the other nuclear uh, one is, is, is fusion. The, uh, at the other end of the spectrum, you try and bang hydrogen atoms together to create helium, and that releases energy. Um, you know, you can see on the web, they're bought, they're, you know, people are getting excited about new results, but I, I think we're still decades away, and I think the short answer is we still don't know, but it's the sort of thing that we have to put, put money into to research. To continue watching this video, click the link in the top left or in the description below, or visit iai.tv for more debates and talks from the world's leading thinkers on today's biggest ideas.